Hi, my name is Eric Nelson. I'm an engineer on the MTC project, which stands for Migration Toolkit for Containers. And this video is going to show the setup and installation of MTC in two clusters. So we're going to be working with an OpenShift 4 cluster on our target side and an OpenShift 3 cluster on our source side. So starting off here, um, the top pane you can see is an OpenShift 4 cluster and the bottom pane is an OpenShift 3 cluster. It's actually a 311 cluster and up top it's a 4515 cluster. So to begin, um, I'm going to get the OpenShift 4 clusters routes um, and look for the console, which is the overall management console for OpenShift. So I'm going to grab that URL and drop that into the into my browser. So one thing to note, um, I'm going to have to accept all the self-signed certificates because I don't have them in my trusted chain. You'll see that later on in the video with MTC. So I'm going to log in with my admin account. One thing to note is that MTC today actually does require cluster admin. I'm going to get my password. Upon logging in, you'll see the new uh, OpenShift 4 management pane. And if I go into the operator hub, I'll see all the operators that are available to me to install. So I'm going to come in here and search for migration. We have a couple other uh, versions of MTC uh, that you see here, but you want to select the migration toolkit for containers, and you'll know it's the correct one based on the version here, 131. So there's a couple of release channels. You want to select the most recent, which is release 1.3, and it's going to create um, its own namespace to be installed in, which is the OpenShift migration namespace. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, hit install. And you can see that it's setting itself up. So if I come back out here, uh, the OpenShift migration namespace has been created, so I'm going to log into that. You can see that the container is creating inside of the namespace. If I go into the workload section, I can watch the pods come up. And if I go into the installed operator section and select uh, MTC, you'll see all of our provided APIs. So these are the CRDs that the operator owns, and the one that you care about is the migration controller CR. This CR is the one that tells the operator to set up an entire deployment. So if you look at the YAML view, you can see all the uh, configuration vectors here. Um, there is a uh, Valero, a controller, and a UI component that you're going to want on your host cluster um, and some other settings. It is possible for you to run the controller and the uh, UI on a different cluster, but today we're going to run it on the host, and that's typically what most people do. So after I created that CR with my configuration, you can see that it's setting up all of our components. So underneath it, we have Restic, Valero, um, both of which are used uh, below our controller um, to back up and restore data across clusters. And in addition to that, we have our controller, which orchestrates the whole system, and we have our UI. So while that's setting itself up, um, I'm going to go pull the 131 image um, for an OpenShift 3 cluster because it doesn't have OLM. I need to manually create the Kubernetes manifest, and so um, those are distributed via the production container. I'm sorry, the production image. So you're going to extract two files off of this. You have your operator file, which is the manifest for the overall installation. And then separately, uh, we have a controller file that um, contains the migration controller uh, CR that we just saw in the OpenShift 4 console. So I'm going to Docker copy that off of a running container. Um, these are the two files. This is all covered in our documentation, which I'll link in the video description. So I have two files. Um, this is the controller file, and you can see in here, this is uh, similar to the CR that we saw on the four side, except the UI and the controller are turned off. The Valero is turned on, so you do need Valero on both sides because the controller orchestrates that. And I'm just dumping the operator file here. You can see this is a manifest with all the permissions, um, bindings deployments, that sort of stuff that we need to set up um, in order for the operator to run things. Also note that inside of this file, you'll have the operand um, specification. So that's what we're looking at now. These are the SHAs and everything that specify what images to run or that the operator should manage. So on the OpenShift 3 side, in order to install, you can just simply create the operator file and that creates all of the relevant objects. So if I just run a watch command here, we can see that the pod's launching. Next, you want to create the controller 3 file. That creates the migration controller CR that you had. 
and I'll watch the pods again and you'll see that um, all of the operand pods will launch. So that um, mostly completes the installation of MTC. Now we want to configure it. Uh, so on the bottom, you can see Rustic launched on all of my nodes and I've got a Valero pod. So up top, I'm getting the routes. Um, the UI installs a route um, for, config for control over migration. So that gets launched in the OpenShift migration namespace. And I'm heading to that route. Again, I'm accepting the self-signed certificates. You might see this error message. Uh, if you don't wanna manage, uh, or if you don't wanna go through this process of accepting these, you can export your certificates and uh, make sure to tell your browser that they're trusted. So now I'm just reloading the migration um, route because I've accepted all of the certificates. And this is the MTC console. So uh, there are three primary um, objects. We have clusters, replication repositories, and migration plans. First thing I need to do is tell the OpenShift 4 cluster about my three cluster. So I'm gonna to come to my cluster and grab the API uh, server coordinates and insert that URL. The next thing I need are the credentials. So uh, we have a command, you'll see that in the documentation, it exports um, a service account token so that our OpenShift 4 controller can operate on the three cluster and communicate with that API server. So I just exported that and I'm installing that on my four cluster. And that completes the creation of my OpenShift 3 MIG cluster in my OpenShift 4. You can see that it's connected. So our controller has confirmed that it can communicate with that cluster. Now that I have both of my clusters, my source and my target, um, the next step is to actually set up a replication repository. The replication repository acts as an intermediary storage. So um, we will back up our data out of the three side and that gets stored in the in the S3 bucket, and then we will restore that on the target. So there's a few options here. We can use AWS S3. We also have the option of self-hosted S3 in case you're in a disconnected environment. But I'm gonna go ahead and name this replication repository and use AWS S3. So I have a bucket name that I've already created. And then um, I need to provide the region that bucket lives in, which is US West 1. Um, quickly, I edited the video so that the credentials are not leaked. So I provided my access key and my um, secret access key, and I'm gonna be validating that. So again, we can confirm that the controller uh, can communicate with the S3 bucket. It creates a little um, bit of data in there to confirm the connection. And uh, that, that wraps up the video. Um, so that covers the installation of MTC in an OpenShift 3 and 4 cluster and the configuration of your clusters as well as an intermediary replication repository. Um, Next, uh, in the next video, we're gonna be covering creating a migration plan, which um, tells the system what you're migrating. Um, and we'll do an example migration of a complex uh, app. Thank you very much.